Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Eco Mining. So today we're talking about the Crops Farmer and this project is going downhill, but I've decided to roll the dice and gamble a couple bucks and see where we end up. So this is really just an experiment. I don't expect anybody to get involved in this. Uh, if you do, it is straight up a bet and gambling. This is not financial advice. Do what's best for your pocket or pocketbook. Uh, I don't recommend necessarily getting involved in these, but if you want to, uh, we'll be going over the two sides of the bet that you'll be working on to make this happen. And let's talk about what they have. So they have the b, b Crops Yield Farmer, the BUSD Crops Yield Farmer. These are the two brand new ones. I haven't gotten invested in these yet, uh, and I don't think I'm going to. Like I said, these projects are going down because we are in a bear market and everything's going down and everybody's pulling, pulling, pulling their money out rather than letting it compound like they would in a, in a bull, bull run. Uh, they would be thinking about, wow, if I compound that again, I'll be making this much more. And then if I compound it again, and that's usually the problem that people have when they're in these types of ventures is that they always think about, wow, if I compound it again, and they don't pull out the money as much as they should, and they get caught up in the hype of just keep compounding, just keep compounding. But you have to remember <clears throat> to pull some money out also. So I haven't gotten in with these uh, two, but let's move down a little further. We have the uh, Phantom Crops Farmer, the BNB Binance Crops Farmer. We have the USDC Crops Farmer. We have the BUSD Crops Farmer. Now the BUSD Crops Farmer is on the Binance chain. The USDC is on the uh, um, Avalanche chain. This also is on the Binance chain. This is on the Phantom chain. And these two are on the Binance chain as well. So the one we're gonna talk about today is gonna to be the Phantom Crop Farmer. So let's go ahead and just click on it and we'll discuss it. So here it is right here. So it has a 6% daily. It has 2,190% uh, 2, APR, 2% 2 compound bonus, and that compounds on itself as far as the bonus goes. And we'll show you that as we go down below. 7% referral fee. And of course, I will have a link in the description below, but again, this is a straight up gamble. And I mean straight up gamble not financial advice. Do what's best for your pocket or pocketbook, and it's probably not getting involved in this right now, but if you want to, I certainly would appreciate it. Definitely help support the channel. 12-hour compound timer, four-hour uh, uh, withdrawal cooldown, 48-hour rewards accumulation cutoff. We'll talk about that. 10 times mandato mandatory compound feature, 80% feedback tax for early withdrawal. We'll talk about that also, and the anti-bot launch. So this is how much money is in the contract right now. And why I say this is a gamble, and it's a two-part bet. The first part of the bet is this. Will you ROI before the contract is out of money? That's how much money, that's how much Phantom is in there right now. So will you be able to ROI before this is gone? And also, will there still be enough money in here when the next bull run comes along where this will then pick up and keep going? I will say that the Phantom Crop Farmer gets the least amount of exposure because it's on the Phantom chain. Not a lot of people know how to use it. Um, they're not familiar with it. They don't, they're not comfortable with it. They're more comfortable with other more popular chains. I use Phantom, so I'm okay with this one, and that's why I use it. But either way, they're all on their own chain. You make that decision. So we go down here a little bit, and you can see that I started off with 290 Phantom. And if we look at that Phantom, what that cost me, uh, 290 Phantom was about $68. Actually, this was about $75 at the time of purchase. Phantom has come down. It is up today, but it has come down. It was uh, almost exactly $75, maybe $76 when I got into this. So it is down to about $69. So overall, Phantom is down, but that's not affecting uh, my rewards in here as far as how much Phantom I am earning. So let's break this down into the boxes. So this box here, there's two timers. There's this timer here, and this is when you've uh, fully uh, loaded up your cart with rewards. The next timer below that is when you can compound again. Now mine is at zero right now because I have compound, I've compounded the uh, amount they've wanted, which up here was 10 time mandatory compound feature. So you have to compound 10 times before you can uh, take any rewards out. So I compounded the 10 times and it's saying zero right here because it's saying zero, you're able to compound again. So I could come down here and I could compound uh, the amount of phantom that I've accumulated. This is how much it's estimating I'm making per day. So at the end of tw 24 hours, I should have 13.09 phantom. If I want, I can compound and you know boost this number up a little bit if I want. But at this point, I am going to claim. This is the withdrawal section. As you can see, I haven't claimed or withdrawn anything yet. So after you've reached your 10 times, as I have here, you'll see this countdown timer go to zero, and that will be your cue to compound again, but we're not going to. 
Now, if you want to claim rewards, you can let these build up for a maximum of two days. That's up here with the 48 hour rewards accumulation cutoff. And that's this right here. So far, 48 hours, uh, I clicked my last compound and now it's down to 35 hours. So for two full days, I could gain rewards and then use those rewards to pull out and put those in my wallet. So uh, the, there's a lot of different mechanisms in this uh, that are kind of interesting where things, something like this, you only can accumulate for two days maximum. So you can't let this run for like two weeks and then come claim all those rewards out in one big pull and hurt the protocol and hurt what they're doing here. <clears throat> this way you only can get maximum of two. The other thing is that you have to compound 10 times and you can only compound twice a day. So that I think is harder than compounding only once a day, because if you compound just once a day, you just have to remember to log in once a day and compound and be done with it. This way, if you compound at 9 a.m., you have to log in at 9 p.m. and compound again. Let's say something is running late. You don't get to your computer. You can't compound in time. And now it's 930 or 10 o'clock at night. That means that the next day you have to wait till not 9 a.m. Now you have to wait if you compound it at 10 p.m. You have to wait till 10 a.m. the next day to compound. And then again, if you don't hit it at 10 a.m. because say work uh, was keeping you busy or something was going on, you didn't get to it till 11 a.m. That means you can't compound until 11 p.m. So it throws you off and it slows you down for your compounding and that slows you down getting to your 10 time compound where then you can claim your rewards. And by slowing you down a little bit, it stops or slows people down from claiming more money. So that's a little mechanism that I think is interesting. It's a bit of a nuisance, but they don't have an auto compound and they make you do it twice a day. So that's an interesting way to handle that. Also, only letting you after your 10th compound, only letting you accumulate rewards for only 48 hours. Again, if you let that go for three days, well, that's one full day of rewards that you're not going to get. So again, another way to keep money in the project and not in our pockets, but that will give a little bit more to the sustainability. And if you're getting into this project, then this is something you should know up front. and knowing all of this, then make the educated decision to whether get in or not. So anyway, that's basically it in a nutshell. If you want to come down here, it does go into it in great detail. I'm not going to go ahead and read all this. I think I pretty much explained what everything is that's down here is what's up here. Um, I think it's a project that I am rolling the dice on. This is $75 that I could have gone outside and lit on fire and lost and been okay with. I really wouldn't have been okay with it. Um, of course, I don't want to lose $75, but during this bear market, I just thought I'd throw a couple bucks in here and have a little gamble and just play a little game. It wasn't a ton of money. The money that I use to invest in this is money that I've earned from rewards from crypto mining. So it's not money that I actually took out of my pocket. So it doesn't hurt as much, though it is still $75. Um, but as you can see, I'm up to 394 Phantom total. Uh, I've compounded enough that I've ended up with an extra 104. Now this is money that when you put this in here, you do not get this money back. It is uh, permanently in the contract. The only money you can get back out is what your rewards are. So just be sure that you understand that. And right now I'm getting about 13.1 per day. So I will be getting about 26.2. So 26.2 will get me about $6.24, which is roughly about 10% of my initial investment. Let's just say roughly 10%. Maybe it's more like 8%, 8.5%, something along that line, but let's just say 10% roughly. So basically every five days, I can then let my rewards build for two days and then claim that and get approximately 10% of my return on my investment. Okay, again, we are playing the uh, longevity game. Will we get our money out before all of this money is gone? Um, will we hit another bull run? And when that bull run comes, will our uh, uh, total uh, deposit here, our total farmers, will we have that compounded? Maybe we're gonna compound that for the next two months. And let's say in two months we come out of this bear market and it really picks up and i've been compounding for two months and my uh you know rewards are you know 50 phantom a day and now all of a sudden phantom shoots up to a buck and a quarter and i'm getting 50 phantom a day you know that's the game that you're going to play again that's that two-fold bet that we're making here today will it make it to the next bull run 
and will the project even make it there or will I get my ROI before it doesn't so we're going to go ahead and do this over the next couple of weeks and just have a little fun with this and see where we end up so anyway y'all appreciate you checking in I hope this video helped I really appreciate those thumbs up it helps the channel more than you know of course if you want to subscribe to the channel I'm going to have a link right over there I'll have another video if you want to check one out right up over there and of course a link in the description below for any of the pages I use today and if you want to use the referral link if you're crazy enough to get invested into this one I'd appreciate it if you hit that referral link thanks for checking in I'll see y'all next time